In this video, I want to take a couple of moments and step back and talk about what is a database. Now, if you're new to the FileMaker platform or new to the idea of what databases are, it might be a good idea for you to take a couple minutes and go through this conversation with me. So a database is a collection of information. Typically speaking, it's a collection of like or similar information. So you might have a list of names that you want to collect, maybe names of customers. You might have names of products with product information. You might also have a collection of companies or organizations that need to be tracked. And so each of these separate items would be considered a database in and of itself. In most database systems, including FileMaker, you would consider this collection of information to be a table. And within the table will be fields of information. And so those are the specific elements that describe that table. So for example, we have a product table. Every record in there would be a separate product. But within each of those records, you might have the name of the product, the SKU number of the product, the cost of the product, description of the product. All those different elements are going to be fields within the table. The table itself is tracking the specific products. As a general rule, you would have a separate table for each of these areas that you're trying to track. Separate table for contacts, a separate table for products, separate one for invoices, separate one for projects. You get the idea. Now, if you stop to think about it, you interact with probably hundreds of different databases every day. Have you ever used Amazon or eBay? Well, as you search through eBay or Amazon for purchasing a product, you're interacting with a products database that has information about the product. And then say, for example, that you want to see reviews of that product. Well, each of those reviews would be a separate record within a reviews table. So you have a products table, a reviews table, all sorts of tables going into that interface to give you, the customer, the best experience possible. So the vast majority of the world goes through life interacting with these systems, yet they have no idea that they're actually interfacing with a database. They're talking to the database. Now, of course, Amazon and eBay are some of the largest database systems in the world. And while that's comparable to FileMaker in a lot of ways, it's different software. It scales to many, many millions of users simultaneously. FileMaker doesn't do that as well. But FileMaker scales to many, many hundreds of users simultaneously very easily, if not a couple thousand. And so FileMaker is really great for small and medium-sized businesses. In fact, it's great for huge companies because in most large organizations, say, for example, I will randomly pick General Motors. They make automobiles. They have thousands and thousands and thousands of employees. And typically what you will see is that you'll have a database system that's built for a specific department. So even though the organization might have 100,000 employees, 100,000 people don't need to use the same set of information. Different groups have different needs. The marketing group is worried about what ads and campaigns are going on. And so they have their own marketing system, probably a database, and it might or might not be FileMaker. But you get the idea is that even with a giant organization, you'll have subgroups, little departments or work groups that are using their own data systems to manage their job and their overall jobs that they have to perform for the organization. Now, in the world of FileMaker, which happens to be owned by Apple Incorporated, you're going to hear a number of terms batted around. You'll hear the term database. You'll hear the term solution. You'll hear the term template. You will hear the term custom application. All these terms are loosely synonymous and mean effectively the same thing. The reason you hear different terms is that FileMakers has been around for more than 35 years at this point, and different marketing groups at Apple have decided to call it different things. Now, the current hot term to use is custom application, which is fine. However, just keep in mind that at the end of the day, really, inside this custom application will be a database with one or more tables that collect and help support your business operations. So within the FileMaker platform, a database file is a file on your computer, which has the FMP12 extension on the end of it. And this file effectively presents the user with a custom application. It contains the databases or tables. It also contains the interface elements, i.e. layouts that are displayed to the user. So the FileMaker platform combines the database backend, the user interface elements, as well as a robust programming or scripting language that provides one complete cohesive package, making it highly valuable, 
highly customizable, and extraordinarily cost-effective, which is why it's been around for 35 years. If FileMaker wasn't fantastic, it had long gone out of business. Now, as you're interacting with the FileMaker platform, you're seeing a layout. A layout is going to display information from a table, and it can be presented in a wide variety of ways. So understand that as you look at a layout, you're looking at one or more records that are graphically displayed to you on your Mac, your Windows computer, your iOS device, even an Android device. And so the data is coming out of this FMP12 file, out of the table, through to the layout, and displayed on the screen of your device. And of course, with FileMaker, you can have many different layouts to display things in an unlimited wide variety of ways. The trick is to make FileMaker be as efficient as possible for your team, which means that you want to design the layouts as intuitively as possible. So the layouts are understandable by your staff with as little instruction as required. And of course, FileMaker allows for a wide variety of layouts. So you can design layouts that are tuned for certain employees with certain jobs. Maybe layouts are tuned for external contractors to come in and see information that they need to see. You can apply security to those layouts so people can only see just the information they're supposed to see, which is great. So in a nutshell, that's FileMaker. It's a database at its core. It's a graphical front end. It's also this programming interface with a whole layer of security on top, which makes for a complete solution to help you within your organization.